Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Almighty Allah the entirely merciful and the specially merciful the entirely merciful for all the creatures that are there in this world and in this universe and specially merciful for those who believe in him those who are believers at across all ages they have a special kind of mercy from almighty allah because of what they have done in this world because they followed and they truly believed in almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone so we do thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this kind of guidance for all of us and we ask him to give us support so that we would be able to share it with everyone in this universe as much as we can and we do again at the same time ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us continuous support because we depend upon him and upon him alone because without him we could have no way to guidance and we could have no way to convey the message to other people as you been accustomed to that welcome to treasures i know that you are ready and willing to take as many treasures as you can and please do and not only you i want you to encourage the people around you or to anyone that you come across and you convey the message to him or to her encourage him or encourage her to take as many treasures as you can they are for free try to imagine treasures for are free treasures for free where can you find this you can find this on this channel you can find it when you access the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you find the quran any aya of it any sentence of it even any word of it is a treasure golden treasure you can take it you can take it for yourself you can share it with others but even if you share it it will not decrease it will still remain your own treasure this is the nature of the words of allah and it is a treasure simply why because these are the only words of almighty allah the one who created this universe and created everything in it so that's why this is a very unique statements and unique sentences or we call them unique ayat they are signs that there are one creator for this universe whatever you want. and you will find that the quranic style is very important for every educator and for every teacher and for every parent it's very important to learn from the style of the quran one feature of this style is the repetition you would find allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he focuses on something that you really need to focus on to draw your attention so that you would not lose focus you are always oriented you never become disoriented is he repeating one verse two times three times more than this or less than this but in this chapter chapter number 55 surah ar-rahman it carries one of the beautiful names and attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ar-rahman we said that we define the word ar-rahman that he is the entirely merciful what a beautiful name has you ever have you ever heard someone who called himself this name no It's only allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who called himself this name by himself in his own words he called himself ar-rahman so we are so happy to come across one of the names of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we remind as we had been reminded by the words of allah by the quran to use all these names of allah walillahi wa falillahi al-asma'ul husna fad'uhu biha walillahi al-asma'ul husna fad'uhu biha for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are all these perfect and beautiful names so use them when you call upon allah when you call upon allah use any of these 
99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Use them. They are there for you to use them. Because the more you use them, the more you have opportunity to understand and to get more elaboration on understanding on them. So here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in one of the verses in Surah, in this chapter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used this question. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ This question had been repeated in this chapter, only in this chapter alone. It had been repeated more than 32 times. Which means, it's a question, so here, it's not all the Quran are statements, but here are some opportunities. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us these questions to think and rethink and rethink and rethink. Because this is one of the ways, one of the tools for any educator to let the people think of it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to think. It's a book that invites you, that encourages you, that motivates you to think. Try to imagine. So golden opportunities, a wonderful style here. Which means, by which of the favors of your Lord can you deny? Which of these favors can you deny? Read it and see the question. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you some examples of these favors and asks you, can you deny any of these favors? Can you deny that Allah is the creator of heavens and the earth? Can you deny that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of rivers? Can you deny of this and this and this and this? And here from this question you can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses two. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to Humans and jinns at the same time. The jinn. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing, and this is a very strong and solid proof that Allah addresses the jinn as he addresses the humans by his creation. Look at the creation of Allah. Look at the sun and look at the moon. Look at everything here and when you read it and I wish that you have the time to enjoy reading this chapter because it really fills your heart with belief. When you start reading it, every time you come across an ayah followed by this question, you have only one answer. None of these we can we can deny. We cannot deny any of these ayat, any of these signs that are surrounding us wherever we go, wherever we look up or down or right or left. All the time, wherever you look, wherever you think, you all the time you are surrounded. You are surrounded by the bounties and by these blessings of Almighty Allah. There is no way, there is no place that you can look at and you don't find the signs of Allah. Wow. Tell me, tell me one place you look and you don't find the signs of Allah. If you look up, you see, you inhale the oxygen, you enjoy the rays from the sun, you see the sun, which is a sign of Allah, which is a creation of Allah. Then at night you see the moon, and you see the stars, and you see everything. All of these are signs. All of these are of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have you ever, in other words, have you ever heard somebody who is claiming that he is the creator of the these stars have you ever heard that even the top countries the top 
and institutions, the top universities, the most advanced organizations, they cannot even claim that. Because if they claim, everybody will laugh at them. They know how full they are, and they know that they are big liars. And anything that's beyond the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know that this is a sign of lying. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding, so it's a very good tool to remind ourselves of the greatness of Allah. If you feel that your iman, your faith is decreasing for any reason, and one of the reasons that, for example, you have disobeyed Allah, or you had made a sin or something, so you go back to the Quran, and you find you are restoring back this level of iman that you used to have just by reciting the Quran. Particularly when you recite this chapter, when you find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you and in telling me and telling everybody here, فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَا يَا مَعَشَرَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنْسِ Oh, you, this jinn, all these jinn, and all these humans. إِنِ استطعتم. You see the challenge, a challenge for all of us. We know that we cannot face it. We cannot do it. Please do. If you can face the challenge, and if you want to take the challenge to believe, because this challenge is a sign that will tell you, will lead you, that the one who created everything is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ma'ashar al-jinn wal-ins. In istata'atum, if you can, go through the realm of the heavens, the skies, and the earth. If you go penetrate, if you can penetrate through them, go beyond them. Do. Ya ma'ashar al-jinn wal-ins in istata'atum an tanfudu min aqtar al-samawati wal-ard. Tanfudu. Do it. Go through it. Go and penetrate. La tanfudu. You will never be able to penetrate unless you get authority. Authority from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gives you authority. And some scholars explain it. Authority of science. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you, inspires you, teaches you to use these scientific facts in order to penetrate. If you use them and penetrate, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell you that فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَهِ Which of the ayat, which of the signs of Allah can you challenge? Can you deny? Can you reject? Can you reject this? That's only without the will, without the power from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will never be able to go beyond, or you will never be able to penetrate, or you will never be able to go beyond the atmosphere that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. You, nowadays we say that we can, but we can by using the authority from Almighty Allah. And from every ayah, in every ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us another challenge and another thing to think of. It can be this chapter. It can be an amazing chapter for students who study science at any level, whether it's a level of high school or level of college or level of university. If students study these challenges in subject matter like science, it would be amazing. You take each one of them and each one of them would take an entire lesson, a whole 45 or one hour lesson. And you can cover up to 32 lessons, which is almost one whole course, one entire course. And this is something very important to study, not only in Islamic countries, not only in Islamic schools, 
but in any school or any institution that concerned, that's concerned with science. This is, but when you study science from this perspective, you study it from this Islamic perspective that Allah is the one who created this. And Allah is the one who invites you to think in the right direction. In the right direction that Allah is the one who created this. And he asks you to explore that and to go deep and deep confessing all the time. Every day you study deeper and deeper. You have the opportunity to enlarge your ideas, your understanding of what is going on around you in the right context, in the right direction. That Allah is the one who created all these ayat and he's the same one who created me and who created you. And he wants to make us this musalaha, this reconciliation between us and the creation of Allah. Because all of us are created by one God. His name is Almighty Allah. There is no one similar to him. And there is no one who can go beyond what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put for us. And you find that the invitation from Almighty Allah to think in all these directions provided that uh, to guarantee to be on the safe side that Allah asks us to go on the right direction. Otherwise, you, like many people, many scientists, have deviated from the right path and they start to think crazy, right? And they started giving us very wrong results. There are many of them when they study biology away from this background, the belief of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the correct belief of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you find that they started deviating step by step. And therefore, do you really say that this God deserves to be thanked? And that's why the most favorable phrase and sentence for every believer is to say, Alhamdulillah, and Alhamdulillah, and Alhamdulillah for all these signs that uh, light the way for us and they guide us to take the right steps, inshallah, and avoid any kind of deviation. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.